Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here, bringing you guys today's video, and this one is all about clan castle troops defensively. What to put in your CC uh, to best defend your base, any town hall level. We're going all the way down to town hall 8, and then all the way up to town hall 12. So I'm sure that most viewers are going to be able to have this be a useful video. And uh, got some nice replays going on in the background. Let's get right into it though, because I haven't talked about this in a little while, and we had the Ice Golem added, and I don't think since then it's really been addressed on my channel at least. Should you be using the Ice Golem in the CC? Uh, in what circumstances? For what Town Hall levels? We'll go through by Town Hall level, but generally speaking, I first want to say that the Ice Golem tends to be better the higher up you go in Town Hall levels. And the reason for that is that as you get up to Town Hall 10, you have the Inferno Towers, 11, you have the Eagle. And at these higher Town Hall levels, being able to freeze an incoming Queen Charge, an incoming Kill Squad, um, is a big deal. Because there's a lot of damage coming from those Infernos, the Eagles, the big defenses you don't have at like Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 8, for example. And especially as you get to like Town Hall 11, the Queen charges become much more important, Town Hall 12 as well, and being able to freeze the Queen and also force her to get through a relatively high HP tank is going to waste a lot of time. So it's a good anti-Queen charge defender as well in your CC which is um, something that only applies, obviously, to Town Hall 9 and above, where you actually have a queen to charge. Okay, so having said that, let's start um, down at Town Hall 8, and we'll work our way up. Now, recently I have been thinking about Town Hall 8, because I know I have a, at, least a few, um, at least a few subscribers that are Town Hall 8s, and here's the thing. Um, you're, it's not a whole lot of damage on the base, which is why it might be nice to have Baby Dragon, Valks, things that do um, deal quite a bit of damage, um, because relative to the hit point levels of everything else, that is uh, it's pretty significant. So right away, damage tends to be better at the lower Town Hall levels, because that damage is much more, we're still getting talking max troops in your clan castle, that damage is much more uh, relative to the damage your defenses do. So right away, that's one point I want to make for the lower town hall levels. Um, so Ice Golem, maybe not quite as good. Depends on the base, of course. And some of this will come through testing, through seeing what works and what doesn't. Stuff that I can't necessarily explain in a video. Um, but generally speaking, you want to go with damage at Town Hall 8. And also... I like the baby dragon especially because there's no archer queen when a town hall 8 is attacking you. So they could often end up with nothing able to kill the baby dragon if they don't get any wizards in there or something. If it's a hog attack. If it's a dragon attack, it's a different story. Um, but I like the baby dragon. It's a little quicker than the actual dragon. That way you can bring like a baby dragon in a witch or a baby dragon in a valk or two. Something along those lines I think is pretty... Uh, pretty valuable because they deal damage and the baby dragon can sometimes escape and really ruin an attack if it locks onto a bunch of hogs or something. That's my recommendation. Town Hall 9, now we have the Archer Queen, things are a little bit different, you have 30 troop space instead of 25, and you know, call me a little old fashioned, but I'm still a fan of the Lava Hound to some extent. I think the Lava Hound um, is a great surprise on these fresh attacks, and these are fresh attacks at Town Hall uh, 9. That's what you're trying to defend. You're not trying to defend two, three attacks. Typically, just one um, is is your job as a Town Hall 9 at this state in the game for most uh, three-star attackers that you will face. You want to defend that first attack. And I made a video a little while back on um, putting Valks in the CC, which is also another good option because Valks are going to be your best bet at defending Witches, uh, which are very powerful um, at Town Hall 9. So... You can go with Lava Hound Surprise if your base is already decent against witches. I mean, there's no witch-proof base. It doesn't exist out there. If people say they have a completely anti-witch base, then they're just lying. Because any base can really be hit with witches. But some are better than others. And some, you're going to want to have those Valks to try to you know mess up the skeletons, lock on your group of witches, depending on how the pathing of everything works through the base. Um, but other, other bases... You can you can bring the lava hound 
if you're expecting something a little different like a, a kill squad or a queen charge based attack lava hound can be a nice thing to uh, to mess them up make them waste a lot of time um, to get through it because it's so high level compared to the damage you have at town hall 9 offensively town hall 10 uh, things start to change up even more now we're dealing with inferno towers uh, we're dealing with higher level defenses and higher level offense I guess as you would as you move up, move up to any Town Hall level, but the Infernos are a big deal. I'd say Town Hall 10, I would recommend Ice Golem and Dragon. You can fit both of them in your CC. Here's why. Now we start to also see the Bat Spell being a popular thing people are using, Bat Spell Dragon attacks at Town Hall 10, and with any of these attacks also, like an Electron attack, a lot of them are now like not actually sending stuff into the base beyond... Um, uh, sometimes not like an actual kill squad or a queen charge, but sending in dragons uh, and not directly coming in with a kill squad. And when that's the case, I think it's often nice to have the dragon because it's not going to die to a poison spell. Things are a little more chaotic in these types of attacks. There's not like a formal uh, encounter between the kill squad and the CC often. So the dragon can get away and start to do a lot of damage if it escapes the poison um, if it is able to kind of break out and start locking onto bats or something like that. So I like the dragon. I like the ice golem as well because you want to be able to freeze the queen if she charges. That way you take a bunch of uh, her hits, take time because she has to you know shoot through the ice golem. Then it freezes her and often will freeze the healers as well depending on where it's located and that can really be problematic um, for a queen charge. So won't always freeze the healers but I have seen it happen. So that's why I like the Ice Golem Dragon. Um, I have seen people also use the Ice Golem Witch, or sorry, the Dragon Witch. Um, either way, I'd bring a dragon. I think it is good at defending some of these newer attack strategies. Um, but the Ice Golem, I would say most of the time, but depending on your base, maybe use the Witch. Um, I just don't like how easy it dies to Poison Spell and to... Um, to just any kind of ground damage in general, or even a dragon, uh, they get through it pretty quickly. More of a fan of the Ice Golem, it will not come out to air troops, but if something ground does trigger it, it can really stop things. So I, th I think it's better to have a, you know, a solid base built to defend these mass air attacks. That way you can justify bringing the Ice Golem, which won't come out in the event of a, of a mass air attack if nothing ground triggers it, but if something ground does trigger it, it's going to get a lot of value for you. Okay, having said that for Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, I would only double down even hard, harder on the Ice Golem Dragon CC. And the reason for that is Queen Chargers, I think, are even more popular and more potent at Town Hall 11. You could debate that, I guess, between Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11. But even more importantly, now you have the Eagle Artillery. You have these defenses that are going to deal a lot of damage very quickly. And being able to freeze something such as the Ice Golem, what the Ice Golem can do is much more valuable because now these are seconds that you have Inferno Towers, high level defenses, and also the Eagle raining in on your troops as they're being frozen by the Ice Golem. So I think it's very valuable to have the Ice Golem at Town Hall 11. And the Dragon is also important because people still love using uh, these air type of attacks, um, minor attacks as well. I think right now, the current meta we're in at Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, even Town Hall 12 is the non-defense targeting troops, the miners, the dragons, and this is where the defensive dragon in the CC is better because it's it's a little less predictable how the CC encounters the troops, and you might find yourself, like I said, in a situation where maybe nothing that can actually target the dragon is able to lock onto it, and when that happens, you don't want the poison spell to, uh, to be able to take it out too easily. So I'm a fan of the Dragon. I think Dragon, Ice Golem, Town Hall 11, that's the way to go. Oh, we'll fast forward here. Finally, Town Hall 12, let's address that real quick. Um, building off Town Hall 11, one great thing to do now, Ice Golem, Dragon, and then like a balloon as, as, as the filler. Um, you have that extra five troop space. You can bring double dragon. I don't see a whole lot of value to it. I think either no dragons die or both dragons die. Um, it's unlikely you're going to have um, that second dragon make the difference. So I like to, I like to diversify the CC a little more. Um, bring 
the ice golem as well as the dragon. They both have different strengths, more versatile at defending. I think that's important at Town Hall 12 because it's harder to three star and you don't want to have any gaping uh, weaknesses in your base and having a diverse CC such as the ice golem dragon is going to help defend a lot of the, um, uh, the big strategies that uh, are go-to for three stars at Town Hall 12. I would say also going a little old school once again as I did at Town Hall 9, you can do the Hound and Baby Dragon. I think that's always been a, a pretty decent strategy uh, thing to have in your CC. Um, the Baby Dragon can die to the Poison spell, uh, which will open things up a little bit for possible miners and stuff. But generally speaking, that's a pretty good strategy if your base is otherwise good at defending um, the, uh, the, the Swarm Dragon, stuff like that. Um, so I, I would give a little bit of caution to that, but that is another good alternative if you think that would be better for your base over the, uh, the Ice Golem Dragon uh, Balloon CC. Okay, um, I want to also add in that when you're filling your CC, sometimes you'll have like a Witch, a Valk, things that don't, you know, f evenly fill the CC. You might have some extra troop space, just like a couple extra slots. What do you put in it? Um, first of all, look to do wizards. Um, that's good damage. It is four space, so sometimes you only have like one, two, three space left. You can't fit a wizard. But if you have the four space, bring a wizard. I think it's helpful. It can uh, do some damage to air troops, which is a big meta right now in general. Um, but beyond that, I would say goblins, not archers. And sometimes people like bringing archers, and I used to be one of those people. But they just don't do enough damage to really make a difference. The, I know it's nice that they can target air troops, but really no archer is going to take out like a dragon um, or anything like that. If anything, it's better having the uh, goblins because what they'll do is they're fast, and that's one of the, the really valuable parts of them. They'll run out, and if you have a few of them, sometimes the attacker will drop the poison too quickly, and like a witch will lag behind and not even get in the poison spell. So it helps spread out your CC by having goblins that are so quick and run out ahead so fast. Also, um, for like a dragon attack, if the goblins are just standing there, like often that happens with the witch when she spawns her skeletons, it can distract the dragons because they'll lock onto them and they may make the pathing weird. Whereas if you have archers, the archers are going to run and target the dragons, so they'll basically go right to where the dragons already are and there won't be any change in the pathing, they'll just go down to the splash damage along with every other building in the area. Whereas the goblins, they're more likely to pull things away because if, if the attacker drops their hero somewhere, now the goblins run over there. Um, if there's dragons down, they might run that way too. It's more unpredictability, which is what you want as the defender, trying to make these CC troops hard to predict, hard to encounter, um, which is where the goblins are a better fail than archers for those last few uh, slots. Obviously, don't use minions. They're, uh, they're not going to do a whole lot for you, and they'll mess up your baby dragon if it's in the CC also. All right, that will do it, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bisectatron out.